and a warm welcome to the program. I'm Melinda Kinlami, coming up on today's episode. To mark World Theatre Day, the National Troop of Nigeria organizes a competition for schools in an internally displaced persons camp in Abuja. Then we return to Lagos for a miniature art exhibition organized by two galleries. That and more when we return in a moment. Do stay with us. How the city attracts all types and how the unwary must suffer from ignorance of its ways. Iwalewa and Ogiriko Galleries have once again teamed up for another art fair which shows creativity at its best in Lagos. One, two, three. Performers spice up an already colorful miniature art fair, a joint effort by the Iwalewa and Ogiriko galleries to continue to push the ongoing conversation about increasing art consciousness in the country, still in the commercial city of Lagos. As different font-sized works of art, done in an array of media, dot this unconventional space, encouraging potential collectors to select from the rich palette and display. The Merch Art Fair Lagos shows um, new talents, new arts, new creativity. So it's about talent hunting for the miniature art fair because art is not majorly by size. So that's how I decided to do the miniature art fair Lagos to show some very creative work in a small size because little things can come in a big way. I'm looking at the work, um, I'm standing beside um, Mama Lola Lawson's painting right now. It shows details, it shows a lot of details, it shows a lot of efforts. You understand? Doing a miniature art painting is not easy in itself. Because for you to do a miniature painting, you have to concentrate more. Your focus has to be there. Because sometimes, for you to even do a bigger painting, it might take you a, it might take you a shorter time to do a big, bigger painting. So doing a, a small painting takes a longer time than doing a bigger painting. Because a lot goes into do, a lot goes into details. So detailing is not easy. Um, some miniature drawings uh, this uh, miniature art fair so uh, most people know me by my paintings but uh, for uh, for a fresh air I decided to put in drawings for this for people to also know that I have the other side of my creativity which is drawing too and it's actually a great thing that is happening here which is the miniature art fair because most times many people like big works and they go for big works but artists can create at uh, any size range so this is um, us making it known out there that there are different sizes of works that you can do different sizes and all of them are actually great so miniature works also make the home front look well and they are great investments too. The art community in Lagos is no stranger to this show as several episodes have been held prior to this one and every time the organizers try to add more flavor to what is being displayed to keep visitors yearning for more. This is a very fascinating uh, exhibition because it, it deals with uh, miniature artworks. I just recently retired and on retirement I had so many artworks 
but there were so many and so huge that I had to go and pack them and put in a store. I wish they had come in the miniature form, then I would have been able to put them all over my sitting room, my bedroom, and all of that. But as it is now, I just have to store them until I can get a much bigger space to which I can exhibit them. But this is wonderful. This is very interesting work. And if you look at the subject matters, they are very, very interesting. There are paintings of Yusuf Grillo, the doyen of Nigerian art. I saw a particular painting that had uh, a living room chair with so many things on it. It reminded me of some of the what I had myself in my own house, especially when I was moving. You know, all of those uh, things just look so familiar. You know, it's, it's an incredible exhibition. I commend the efforts of uh, Iwalewa and Ogirima for putting this together. So my works are made of tree trunk as roots. You know, so the inspiration actually came this way. We have our roots, and a lot of us don't even know our third generation name. So, with your roots, you can actually tell your personality because when you have a family name to protect, you don't go out there and want to spoil that name. But when you ask a lot of Nigerians or Africans today, your third generation name or your fourth generation name, you don't even know. So, 200 years from now, will they remember you? You understand me? So, I have been working with Truth for a while now, for the past four, five years. So, I'm exhibiting on miniature today. I have three works here, made of fruit. But when you look at them, they don't tell you that are fruit, you don't know. But I have to tell you, you see the detailing of the parts of fruit that we use to make the works. Today's exhibition is all about the miniatures, the great artists. Up there we have a uh, sister, sister. We have the bucket woman. We have the black and white. Talks about most of the works talks about the women, the human gender in Africa. But the goal remains the same, to inspire more people to buy pieces by setting the items at pocket-friendly rates. A lot of people want to give out artwork. They don't want, they want to buy campers and all of that. Forgetting art, art is very creative and art is lasting. It's an investment for life. So if you buy a painting of an art of, an, of any artist that is a seasoned artist, it goes a long way. It's not um, it's not short. It goes like endlessly. There's no end to it. So that's majorly one of the reasons. You understand the lasting solution in people's mind for gift items and all of that. Some collectors have um, limited spaces and they want to have some more works. So that's a room to buy miniatures of different artists that they love and have them in a collection. So you can have a wall of a hundred artists, all miniatures, in a living space. For my viewers, with my works, I, I just, I like to preach freedom, like freedom of self, freedom of purpose um, as a human being you you are blessed with endless uh, abilities to be wherever you want to be to achieve to get to the greatest height so so with me from my works um, no matter the size I'm just telling everybody that you can use the smallest thing to make the greatest impact to see that there's beauty in even a miniaturized work because you have close contact with it. You have to look very closely at it to be able to appreciate it. 
you know, there are different forms of art. There are the giant ones that have I made mean, a whole uh, artwork on a 10 story building. But this is the miniaturized one, 8 inches by 8 inches, 10 inches by 10 inches, and it's really quite fascinating. In this exhibition, you have very young artists, you have very old artists. So there's no limit to creativity, there's no limit to miniatures. So we have a lot of professors that exhibited here. So they have a guest artist like um, Nikki Okundaye that showed a miniature work that was very good. We have Bruce Orobokbaya, Professor Bruno Orobokbaya, we have Professor Jerry Buari, and a whole lot of artists. Blah, 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 blah. So we have young artists as well that did very, very well. So art is not decided by the age or the personality. Today, a miniature. A miniature is a miniature. Creativity is creativity. So it is about age. So for the criteria, basically, it's about the creativity. For many, this fourth edition of the Miniature Art Fair reemphasizes the gallery's devotion to improving art collection and creation in the country. Our worst myth for this week is titled, Strength of a Woman. The strength of a woman, have you seen a strong woman? Her face is written in boldness and bravery, with fear lost in its letters. As she stands for what is right, and never ceases to break down walls in her sight, her gallant stride is a beautiful one to behold. As she stands tall and lets no eye bag deter her from being bold. Her heart is a well of hope, infinite depth and flowing purity. As she nourishes the young ones with care, every eye that sees her is blessed. Her spirit is stronger than a solid stone, a regalia of a warrior, conqueror and forever revealing as she breaks down barriers and sets up a stronger one to protect her cast her lips are bold, her voice unwavering, as she stood her ground and spoke her truth even when it wouldn't set her free. She embodied what it means to cope, as her strength is not in her tired eyes but in how she can endure and carry on against all odds. Her strength is born out of love and sacrifice, it's the strength to protect, heal and grow. It's the strength to nurture others and let them know. It is the strength to keep moving, even if it means to crawl. It is the strength to smile, even in her terrible worst. It is the strength to rise above all strife. It is the strength to inspire us with her unwavering might. She's a light that can never dim. Let's honor her for her strength, which is divine. She's a shining star that will forever shine. A reminder that we too will rise. Thank you, our wordsmith, for penning that down and pretty interesting images there from that art fair as they encourage art collectors to go and grab pieces. We enjoy performances, but that will be when Art House returns in a moment. Stay with us. These are the works we sent in this week. Let's begin with this piece by Mark Duke, done with pen and acrylic on canvas. It's titled, I Day For You. Then Amazing Art has Jacqueline the Picasso, done with mosaic marble. Happiness is free, that's according to Ademola Sunday, with this acrylic and marker on canvas work. Then the gaze is done by Akwashiki Ayaka with oil on canvas. This portraiture of a popular actor is done by Lucky Best Art with oil on canvas. Then Sam Itoya has this oil on canvas piece called The Sun. 
She's fabulous. That's what Jane Perkins says with this recycled art. Then Toby Paul has Amoke, a digital painting. Eternity Displaced Persons Camp in Abuja comes alive as the National Troop of Nigeria organizes this event to mark World Theatre Day. Chiguru Internally Displaced Persons Camp in Abuja has a different energy today as the members of National Troop of Nigeria and theatre lovers gather to mark World Theatre Day. Coming under one of its programs, which is the 10th Children's Creative Station Workshop, participating schools from within and outside the IDP camp arrive in their colorful cultural attire to make presentations for the day. We are world our world through, and what it keeps us going from day and day, and we surrender our life for, to Him, and we are watching for some or someone to keep on taking. The town and, and village are, are scattered. Children are suffering all over the world. We will not give up. <laughs> In the hall, officials from the Ministry of Information, Culture and Tourism, the Cuban ambassador, as well as other guests enjoy the performances by the children, which explore tradition and storytelling through dialogue, music and dance. Grandma, please tell us a story. I'm going to tell you a story about peace. Peace? Peace is air. You must need air. Peace is water. You must need water. Peace is blood. We must have blood in our veins. Peace is life. We need peace for life. Peace is our skeleton, our blood, our skin. Peace is the life. Tell me where there is life, where there is no peace. As the show goes on, there's a moment for the artistic director of the National Troop of Nigeria, Mr. Ahmed Mohamed Ahmed, to answer a question that may have plagued people's minds as a first look at the invitation. Someone will ask, why theater at IDP camps, where people are disorganized, where people are destabilized, to have left their own original environment to come to a place where they feel sometimes they're alien. 
We say yes. As government agency, there is a need for us to reach every heart in Nigeria. And those in the IDP camps are very special. Why are they special? Because the moment you leave your environment, you lose certain things that are very valuable. Part of which is what? Our culture. Am I right? Go. That's why we say we need to come back to IDP camps here in Abuja to celebrate World Theatre Day. So that our children, who may have lost some of our values, through our storytelling and other folklore elements, we will now have a sense of belonging and also we will kind of hope in them. It is true that to be a displaced person is a very hard thing to do. But also it's harder when you have to leave your original environment, your original culture and to go to another place, even if it is inside of your country. So an initiative like this, when children can get closer to their culture and where human beings can be part of their own roots is very important and fundamental. So I want to congratulate for that and to express once again my gratitude for the opportunity to be here today. The performances align with the theme, theater and the culture of peace as different groups display this in their acts. After the beautiful performances, results are announced and those who attended are impressed with this engagement. Can we put our hands together for the champions of today? For me, it's another advantage because this is the first time children are coming out for a competition like this. The school is just barely seven months. By this singular action, we have elevated the IDP camps in Nigeria to internet platform of awareness. They need help and assistance, not just from Nigerians, all over the world. By the time this report is escalated to UNESCO, I'm sure there will be a feedback. The 2023 edition of Children's Creative Workshop for World Theatre Day definitely took a new turn as the national troupe reaches out to fulfill its mandate. Wow, and it gets even more exciting, but that will be on the next episode. Let's give you a glimpse of what to expect. On the next episode of Art House. Makinde Adeniron's Beggar's Opera in Lagos. Then, in another part of the commercial city, we have this group exhibition titled Nexus. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's the program today. Thank you so much for being great company. And let's do this again next time as you keep engaging us on our various social media platforms. I'm Melinda Kinlamia, encouraging you to stay safe and keep being creative.